what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be looking at toledo cornerback quinion mitchell rising up draft boards a hot name amongst the draft twitter community wanted to do a film room breakdown uh broke all of his film down for steelersnow.com full scouting report you guys can go check it out over there today on the channel we're going to go through a full game going to look at about a dozen reps or so uh, of Mitchell, get a good look at his skill set, what he does well, some things that he needs to still work on. Uh, really impressive player, really impressive tape. Uh, just before we get into the video, y'all know the deal, man. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe, um, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Drop me a comment. All that stuff helps the channel. And let's get to it. All right, so Quinion Mitchell, Senior Bowl, had a really good week, uh, did exactly what I think myself and a lot of other people expected him to do in that type of setting. Um, you know, six foot, 195 pounds, this is exactly what an NFL quarterback looks like on the boundary. Um, start off the game here, uh, kind of reminiscent of the Nate Wiggins video that I did on my channel. Start off the game, get hit with a deep ball, a little double move. Um, you know, y'all know how we do it on the channel, man. We don't just look at the highlights, we try to look at the positives and negatives. A little bit of a rough start here. No, we'll say full context. So Mitchell almost aligns exclusively in off coverage at Toledo. That's just his preference. It's where he's most comfortable. Right here, we get a little stop and go, try to take advantage of his aggressiveness. You see him hinge forward, get caught lunging a little bit. And then, you know, he tries to get back into phase. Now, we'll say just a couple things here. He does get caught looking in the backfield a little bit. Definitely bites on the fake. Now, just this is just me being a defensive back-minded guy. I also think that this was pass interference. If a DB does this right in front of the ref, he's getting a flag 10 times out of 10, especially at the NFL level. Now, at the college level, full arm extension, push off. That's just going to be a good play by the receiver. But, you know, full disclosure, by rule, this is definitely a penalty. for Full arm extension kind of almost gets him in the head area as well. But such is life. Um, really impressive game from this point forward. But I always like kind of watching – uh, tapes where defensive backs kind of get beat early in the game and just kind of see how they respond um, to that play. So, like I said earlier, Mitchell really plays the majority of his snaps off the ball, um, but we do see every now and again a press rep. A uh, really good look at one right here. Um, also really shows like some of the you know kind of traits that I think make him a really special kind of prospect. Uh, press coverage right here, we get a vertical route. Little out or little outside jab step gets him off his spot. A little bit on his heels right there. Opens up. Now, one of the things about Mitchell is this dude can straight up fly. Like, this is a dude who in Indianapolis in a week or so at the combine is going to end up running, I, I think, somewhere in the four threes. I mean, he's a long strider, can cover a lot of ground, accelerates extremely easily. Very, very smooth, easy mover. Uh, one of the things I really like about Mitchell, too, there's just no panic in his game. So, like, when he does get tested vertically, um, it doesn't matter, like, who the receiver is, what type of body type. He just doesn't panic. And a lot of cornerbacks, like you see even veteran cornerbacks at the next level, when they get in this position, even though they're in phase, the ball's coming down, they start grabbing, being really grabby, stuff like that. Excellent job just timing this, playing through the hands for the pass breakup. Excellent play. Really nice way to bounce back after the, the early loss. All right, next rep here, another off-coverage rep. I'm going to assume this is some version or variation of quarters coverage. Uh, basically, what this ends up being is just a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside uh, with Mitchell at the bottom of the screen, get the receiver running vertically towards a post. Now, just a couple things. Uh, one of the things I think that Mitchell really needs to work on in terms of just some bad habits from a technique perspective, has a really bad habit of prematurely opening up his hips. Uh, and what I mean by that, I'll kind of show you guys. He's playing like seven, eight yards off-coverage maintaining that cushion I do like how he's pretty controlled in his back pedal but right here you'll already see him opening up his hips um, but I mean there's still five yards of cushion here you can maintain that back pedal or just even more slow your back pedal down until he gets a little closer into your cushion before opening up that way he can't take advantage of you opening up your hips and then breaking this thing inside and forcing some type of speed turn now I will say this does show off some of his hip fluidity and the ability to make this type of turn, maintain full speed, and then get back into phase to make a play on the ball. So a really nice finish, even though I don't necessarily love the technique. But I just think that if you're playing, you know, two yards basically inside leverage right here, you're trying to prevent inside breaking routes, right? So allowing him to break you off and win inside and cross your face isn't necessarily ideal. But again, I just think the hip fluidity, the ability, the athleticism – and the ability to get back into phase and make a play on the football, again, without committing a flag, 
just really like the poise that he shows. Like, again, this is just a dude, like, he just never really panicked, man. I just love the way he plays the ball in the air, is willing to go up and contest throws at the highest level. He doesn't have exceptional length. Uh, I think he measured in a little over 31-inch arms or something like that. So pretty average length, but exceptional leaping ability. And these types of throws, um, he's just always going to be, be able to be in position um, for those types of throws at the catch point because of the type of athlete that he is. All right, very next play here. I just think this one's a good example of, you know, like I said, about his build. This is what the kind of prototype I feel like NFL quarterback looks like on the boundary. Just does a nice job using his size, using his physicality. Uh, to defend this fade ball, get another off coverage rep here. This is probably, again, some variation of quarters. It's just, just going to turn into a one on one on the backside with the X receiver. Again, lining up like two yards inside leverage. Um, I get the leverage thing. I just, I wish he would stay a little bit more square instead of open in here. Um, but against this type of fade route, it actually plays to his advantage, kind of gets lucky in that regard. But again, just staying on top, does a nice job establishing it, a little bit of a contact key, being physical with the receiver in great position right here goes up highest point to deflect the ball um one thing that i really like about mitchell is you know like i said six foot almost 200 pounds he has average length um but he plays to his size like he's not one of those guys that i feel like is a bigger corner but doesn't understand how to use his size um he's he's got a really good frame on him uh, i think he has a uh, positive play strength as well you'll see on this receiver or this rep as well receivers looking back for the football he does a good job locating turning back, looking for the ball. This allows him to play the ball at the highest point. And also the receiver actually has him grabbed by the shoulder pad right here, initiating that contact. But, I, again, I just think he's his frame, he's a pretty strong kid. Uh, you'll see him play through contact, and that's definitely something that I like. Um, but a really nice job getting his head back around for the ball, trying to play it at the highest point. Excellent job forcing the incompletion. Um, and I know I said a minute ago just – playing without you know drawing a bunch of penalty flags I just think that that's something that translates really well to the next level at the college level you're allowed to be a lot grabbier and get away with a lot of um, extracurricular contact um, but with Mitchell one of my favorite stats of his he had over 400 cover snaps last year didn't commit a single penalty I think that that stuff really translates because it shows how comfortable he is playing the ball staying in phase trusting his technique trusting his athleticism without having to unnecessarily grab the receiver in order to just hang on uh, for dear life. But really nice job right here. Again, he's kind of looking at the ref like, man, what do I got to do to get an offensive pass interference? This is twice now. Um, but a really good rep right there by Quinion. Uh One thing that I kept noticing with Mitchell, too, I think he's a really smart player. Uh, this is a really good example of that right here. This is third and 20. They're in field goal range. Um, and this really might not look like much uh, to, you know, just kind of the – you know, on the broadcast angle or something like that. But what we get here is they're trying to insert uh, the safety to his side down to the second level. And this ends up basically playing out like man coverage, uh, cover one with a whole player or something like that. But one thing I like about Mitchell is he's playing like seven, eight yards off. They had the slot corner pressed up against the slot receiver, and the offense is trying to hit like a smash fade. Really popular concept, especially when you're trying to take a shot down the field. Um, but – this fade is, like, is what they want against press, and normally they want to run this kind of hitch to drag the boundary corner down to get him out of the throwing window to kind of get try to take a shot over the top. But by Mitchell understanding the route combination, he kind of backs up right here and deters you know the quarterback from going in that direction, forces a check down on third and 20. From there, it's just rally and tackle, make sure you get the guy on the ground, force a field goal. So just some of that stuff, like him going above and beyond the scheme to help out his teammates, just understanding down and distance, I think that that shows like really uh, high-level football IQ. All right, next drive here, Mitchell again playing off coverage. Uh, you're noticing he's not getting a lot of safety help, um, and I think that's really a theme over the course of you know the four or five games that I watched. Um, gets a little inbreaker down here at the bottom of the screen. Again, I think he's not doing him, himself any favors by prematurely opening up his hips here. I just think that this transition itself is a lot more difficult uh, when you're trying to make it at this type of angle. But again, I have no concerns about like his fluidity, his ability to trigger, athleticism, acceleration, all that stuff is there. Uh, you see him get here in a hurry. I mean, even that type of catch right there is a pretty difficult one. You know, he does have his hand at the catch point right here, really difficult throw. Um, it's a good throw with anticipation from the quarterback, but he's able to get into the receiver's, you know, uh, pocket right there, almost rip it out, but good tackle in open field. Like I said, I just wish he would maintain, 
you know, it's good that he's maintaining that inside leverage. Just try to stay a little bit more square, especially because this receiver isn't pressing him vertically. Like, you can just look at his release, how he's coming off the ball. He almost immediately gets high right here. Like, he's not trying to beat you vertically. Just stay square, and that's going to help your transition be a lot smoother because you're not going to have as wide of an angle uh, to kind of come down, trigger, and get at the catch point. But, you know, not a bad rep. Red zone rep. Get a motion to his side. Uh, he's going to get a shallow cross from this number one receiver from a condensed split. Uh, Toledo's bringing some pressure. So they force a, force a hot throw to the flat. Really nice job by Mitchell coming up and making this open field tackle. Um, now, kind of what I mean, like sometimes some of these defenses, when you get these condensed splits, they'll have the ability to kind of make an under call where if this guy goes under at, you know, a certain yard marker, usually it's like two to three yards or something like that. He will make an under call to pass for someone else to kind of pick up his guy, and he will end up, you know, picking up the back to the flat, coming back to his side. Uh, but a really nice job here. As soon as this quarterback, you know, his hands start separating because there's a blitz, the ball's got to come out quick. Hands start separating. You already see Mitchell, you know, getting his feet pointed in that direction for that transition, and then watch him explode out of that transition. Excellent acceleration. Really nice open field tackle, too. Just kind of looking at some numbers, too, um, when I was, you know, filling out his scouting report. You know, he was always kind of a average-ish tackler up until, you know, this past season, his red shirt junior year, and he cut his missed tackle rate in half. So I think he was around like 5 6%. That's a really good number for a cornerback, especially for a bigger guy like that. Uh, you really want to see him, you know, tackle well in the open, open field, and that's definitely something that he does. Does a really nice job, you know, keeping his head up right here. Excellent form tackle. No yards after contact. That's a great play right there. All right, very next play, another red zone rep off coverage. Um, again, you'll see, like, Mitchell's just really comfortable um, playing from this alignment. I really, really like this rep, just maintaining his inside leverage. Now, another thing that I want to point out is we're getting a blitz, so we're expecting the ball to come out really quickly. So, for him, it's really about, you know, getting this one or two read steps because you know, like, you're not going to get tested vertically. You're in the red zone. I do think he does a much better job staying square, and this receiver will take this kind of one or two step stem inside, but watch him make these leverage steps, kind of shuffle to the inside, maintain that inside leverage because he doesn't have help. You don't want to let the receiver cross your face. Does a really nice job. You know, this guy runs a pretty bad route in my opinion, but again, he's in perfect position right here and does a good job anticipating the route. Ball gets thrown right to him. He doesn't pick it off. Now, I will say this. Mitchell had five picks last year. Four of them came in the same game. Before I got his tape this year, I was anticipating someone with, like, exceptional ball skills, and I do think he plays the ball extremely well in the air. I don't think he has what I would classify as great hands, though, because in the games that I watched, he dropped a couple easy interceptions. I mean, he could have easily had, um, you know, he had 27 PBUs the past two years. I watched four or five games. He dropped, I think, three interceptions. So, like these types of throws where he's in excellent position, you know, almost bodies this guy up through the route. I mean, I would just like to see him catch that football. Um, but excellent rep, you know, forces the incompletion. He knows he's got to have that one, but, you know, still a good rep. And I also think that that really shows the benefit, too, of like him staying square and not, you know, prematurely opening up his hips. Um, really nice technique, really nice rep. All right, at the bottom of the screen again, uh, this really, this rep really shows, I think, what he does best in my opinion you know he kind of has one of those kind of trump card traits um really nice job on the P pbu right here he's getting a little comeback towards the sideline excellent break on the ball one thing that i like about him you know we're still opening up early here in my opinion but i do like the eye discipline you can see that he's got his eyes down in the right spot but as soon as this receiver starts to kind of decelerate mitchell does a good job decelerating with him sink his hips and then explode out of the break even though he does he gets a little choppy at the top here but you can see just you know his agility and the way that he closes so quickly this ball is a little bit on the inside but again just using his length at the catch point now one thing that I think Mitchell does better than really any prospect in this class and really any prospect that I can really remember watching cornerbacks coming out of the draft is he might have the best timing control and just general like body balance that I can remember at the catch point for a cornerback prospect. The way that he is so comfortable playing the ball in the air, he has like an acrobatic skill set almost to where, you know, when the ball goes up in his direction, you almost anticipate that he's going to end up, you know, the one with his hands on the ball. Um, just has an ex exceptional feel, 
you know, for either boxing guys out, going chest to chest, using his frame, using his length, or just leaping in the air to get it at its highest point and consistently raking through the hands of the receivers. There's just so much to like about how he plays the ball in the air, you know, without drawing penalty flags. All right, on this rep, looks like we're getting some type of cover three, middle field closed action. Uh, this is what I call a spear concept from the offense, double post with the over from the backside. Um, again, there's just certain things that you just cannot teach uh, defensive backs to be able to do. I think playing the football in the air um, is one of those things. You can get, you can drill a cornerback to get his head around for the ball. You can, um, you know, drill footwork, technique, all this different stuff. But having this feel on how to play the ball in the air, that's when I think you just got to go be an athlete. And I think that this type of athleticism from Mitchell is really just a, you know, a perfect example of that. Playing some type of bail or side saddle technique, get his back to the sideline. He's in his crossover run, gets his deep post. You know, he's in perfect position here. He's on top of the receiver. And, again, no panic. Ball comes. It's almost like he's surprised when the ball comes his direction because he has that much confidence in his ability to make a play when the ball's in the air. Again, just you see the leaping ability. This is a kid that, if I had to guess, he's probably going to jump somewhere in the high 30s or low 40s in the vert because he's he's a special type of athlete um, I almost think he missed times this maybe a little bit or jumps a little bit early I don't know but he's almost on top of the receiver again he almost picks this ball off I think it hits him in the hands maybe the receiver's shoulder pads just an excellent play again like I said the the special timing at the catch point is a true trump card for him and something that I'm really looking forward to seeing at the next level regardless of where he lands all right, last rep we're going to go over. He's at the bottom of the screen, ISO'd. Uh, going to get a quick inbreaker here. Just really like the plant and drive here. I also think that it shows, you know, what his athleticism will allow him to do if he just continues to, you know, work on staying square, work on trusting his technique a little bit more. You know, you'll see him take these first two re steps. So backpedal, feet barely off the ground. He's on his toes, you know, shoulders over his knees. You like the posture there. Again, plant. Stick that foot in the ground and then drive on that upfield shoulder. It's a really good rep. But overall, man, Quinion Mitchell, excellent, excellent prospect. I mean, the tape is extremely good. I mean, I think that this game that I just showed you guys was the most targets, the most yards he allowed all season. I still thought it was dang good tape. You know, he got beat on the early deep ball. Very correctable mistake from a young player. Um, you know, you're going to get beat at the cornerback position. What you do to respond to that matters a lot to me on film. That's why I like to try to pull out tapes. Um, where you get a lot of targets, where you face some early adversity, because I think that that stuff matters from a mental makeup standpoint. You know, cornerback's one of those spots where you got to have a lot of confidence. You got to be able to bounce back quickly, have a short memory. Mitchell's a fantastic player. The athletic profile is exactly what you want from a boundary cornerback. Um, easy, easy round one type of player to me. And it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if he was a guy that was picked in the first half of the first round, even, you know, though he didn't face, you know, you know, top, top competition throughout his time in college just because of where he played. Uh, but this dude is an absolute baller. There's some stuff that I want to see cleaned up from a technique perspective. I want to see him trust his eyes a little bit more, you know, continue to hone in on what he's seeing, trust his trigger, trust his speed. Um, you know, the staying square thing, I know I hit on that a lot in this particular film, but it was a big thing for me that I wanted to highlight just from a technique perspective. He's got to clean that stuff up because NFL receivers will work that blind spot and take advantage of those tiny mistakes a lot more than, you know, some of these group of five type of receivers that he was going up against in college. Um, but the speed, absolutely there, kick and fly. I love the timing at the catch point. His ability to play the ball, I think that he's just – a lot of that stuff is really special and stuff that you truly, truly cannot teach. Um, really fluid for a taller guy too. Uh, love the acceleration. You know, transitions look really good. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to like with his film, and I'm sure that he's going to absolutely, like I said, blow it up at the combine here next week in Indy. Let me know what you guys think of Mitchell, um, him as a prospect. Let me know what y'all think of the video. Drop me a comment. Like I said, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. I will have another video for you guys sometime this week. Appreciate you guys tapping in with me. Peace and love.